and today I'll be cooking you a simple but delicious recipe featuring Arctic char. This is a pretty easy one. Without too much effort, you can be sitting down to a great dinner in about half an hour. Arctic char is in the same family as both trout and salmon. Like salmon, it's packed with those heart-healthy oils, and it has a nice, rich flavor, but its texture and flavor are more delicate than that of salmon. When you look at the fillets in the market, you may notice that the flesh can vary in color from a pale orange to a deeper red. While the color difference may look significant, it really doesn't make any difference to the flavor of the fish. As you may have guessed from the name, Arctic char doesn't come from Maine. We are pretty far north here, but not quite that far north. And even though it's not from Maine, so many of our customers love the flavor and texture of this fish, we have it flown in regularly to make sure that it's still very fresh. For this recipe, you'll need just a few ingredients. Four cloves of garlic, two shallots, a bunch of fresh basil, and a container of grape or cherry tomatoes. First, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. If we weren't working on getting about two feet of snow outside, I'd say the big green egg would be a good option too, but as it is, we'll be using the oven today. While the oven gets hot, place the filet in a baking dish, drizzle it with some olive oil, and season it with salt and pepper. The filet we have here is about one and a quarter pounds, and it's enough for about three adults, or two adults and two smaller kids. Next, you'll need to mince the garlic. An easy way to remove the skins from the cloves is to set the side of the knife on top of the clove, and then hit the knife with the flat of your hand. This releases the skin so that you can go on and chop the garlic. Next up are the shallots. Shallots are like an onion, but with a lot milder flavor. When you cut off the stem end and the root end, you'll find that they have bulbs like garlic. You can just cut each bulb in half lengthwise and then chop them into fine strips. For the basil, roll it into a bunch and then chop it finely. Now you have everything you need prepped and the oven should be at temperature. Put the fish in the oven and set the timer for about 11 minutes. It's always better to set the timer a little on the short side so you don't overcook the fish. Now in a large pan, put in about two tablespoons of olive oil, add the garlic, and cook over medium heat for about two minutes. After the garlic gets going, you can turn up the heat to medium high and add the tomatoes. Let them cook, stirring occasionally until the skins split and they start to soften. In the summer, you may want to try grilling the tomatoes for this recipe. When the tomatoes have all split, turn the heat off and add the shallots and basil, and continue to stir the mixture. Allow just the residual heat from the pan to cook the shallots and basil. When the timer goes off, check the fish for doneness. Remember, it'll keep cooking, so if it looks like it's on the edge of where you like it, go ahead and take it out. To serve, we plated a portion of the fish and topped it with a healthy scoop of the tomato basil mixture. We served it with some sautéed summer squash and red new potatoes. There you go! A delicious, easy to make meal ready in just about half an hour. And we weren't the only ones who thought it looked and smelled great.